Andre from Expressions. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to part four of my entire Pandora charm collection. Um, I like to make these little videos about once a year and I like to feature um, uh, pretty much my entire Pandora charm collection. Um, and again, this is part four. So we have quite a lot to go through. So I'm just going to pull out, um, as you guys can see here, we have a whole lot of bracelets to go through here. And some of them are completed bracelets. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of them are uh, works in progress or bracelets in progress. Some of them are mini sets. And I will kind of um, go through them and explain to you which ones are completed, which ones are mini sets, etc., etc. Um, and what else did I want to say? Well, yes. So some of these may be, um, some of them might have stories behind them some of them may not some of them may just be like uh, not necessarily stories but like I like to design bracelets by themes as you guys can probably s we'll see um, and if that charm fits the theme then it doesn't have a meaning specifically but the theme does just you guys see what I'm saying so yeah that's what we're gonna do so hmm, maybe before we go through it I can talk about just the fact that I have these bracelets here. Oh my gosh, this is really tarnished. I'll get my other bracelets here. <coughs> All right, yeah, some of them are tarnished because they've been kind of just laying around in my closets. So they're starting to turn color because I've been playing with them and designing. So yeah, they're starting to turn color a little bit. So I just got to sit down and polish them up. And some of them are in bracelets because I was wearing them. Some of them are in bracelets that don't move. This is like the bracelet that will always be on, etc., etc. And I will explain all that <laughs> as I go through. So let's just dive right in. So here I pulled out some of the bracelets that are not being used right now. I have my two-tone, which I'm really happy I have. Showing off the yellow gold real fast. And then I have one, two, three bracelets here. And then I have this one here that's being used. And then I have this one that's being used. And I think that's it. Everything else is on a charm bar for now. Yeah, and what am I trying to say? I think these are all between 7.5 and 7.9. I think for the most part, they're 7.9s. No, 7.5, but now I can't remember. It might be a little bit stretched out, so that doesn't really tell me anything. <laughs> ah, all right, so I have a total of one, two, three, and I have four, five bracelets that I like to switch out to. One two tone. Um, actually, I have another two tone, but that's neither here nor there. And I actually have more um, the same chain bracelets, but they're nine point ones, and that's back in the day when I first started collecting, and I didn't know how Pandora worked and I wanted to just kind of slip them on and off without having to, to like you know damage my nails and open up the clasp I know so I have like four or five of the 9.1s and someone really recently on YouTube suggested I use them as anklets that's not a bad idea hopefully my ankle is not fat that I won't use it but you know whatever <laughs> uh, let's get into the actual charms because that's where you guys are here for so this is my what is it this is my like royalty themed bracelet. I know that sounds kind of weird. I like crowns. Obviously my logo is <laughs> a crown. I like a lot of things like stars, hearts, angels, feathers, uh, crowns. I have like these little like, I don't know, it's like themes or just like little like motifs that I like. And so therefore I like to make bracelets around those motifs. So this is again, I'm gonna call it my royalty bracelet, but it's really more of a crown bracelet. So everything that has a crown or it has to do with maybe like a royal theme is on this bracelet. Okay, and I have my little teapot here, my little teacup. I know most little girls back in the day had little tea parties and you might, may have or may have not dressed up as a princess and had your little stuffed animals around you playing tea. Um, I think I did that a couple of times when I was little. <laughs> In any aspect, I think tea is a very royal thing, right? Especially the English royalty, so that's why I stuck this on there. 
trying to think if this is backwards. Is it backwards? No. Okay. Next, we come to my crown, my first crown charm. I think this is a very one of the first charms that came out with a crown theme from Pandora. It's relatively inexpensive. It's really nice and oxidized. And I think I may have a double of this one or not. I can't remember on my European bracelet, but again, we'll talk about the meaning behind this. Again, no meaning per se. It just fits the theme of the bracelet, so it's on here. The Starburst, I just I just liked it because it's two-tone. This has a lot of two-tone charms on it. Um, and I like to wear this with my two-tone bracelet, so... I just figured it just belongs here. I just like it. Next we have the Queen Bee, of course. How can we not have her on my royal theme bracelet since she is the queen? <laughs> and she's got the cute little crown on top. Again, no necessarily no meaning. We have another crown. And I think this came out after this one. Um, and I just, it's kind of like the same style of crown. But it's just different. And I like that. I like the fact that it's a crown, but differently, like, look to it. And my very first logo when I first started blogging was a crown more similar to this or this. It was this type of crown. Not the one you see at the very, uh, was it bottom left hand side of my videos, or watermark? That's different. <clears throat> but my first crown was more like this type of rounded crown. Next we come to the king's crown, which I love. I love this crown. I think I got it off Facebook. I don't remember. And I want to be very careful with him because if you are not careful, you could bend these little gold prongs of the crown. And right now he's, it's pretty like symmetrical. But if you're not careful, you could like squish it and it'll just be dented and, and just messed up in all sorts of ways. So again, I try to be very careful with my uh, charms, but I love this one because it's just, like it's an oldie, you know, it's a classic, you know, so I'm really happy I bought him. I think I bought him pre-loved and he was in good, pretty good condition. And you guys can see some tiny little dings on it, that's probably me. <laughs> Next we come to another crown, and I think this is a Disney charm. Which I really like. I just like all these types of different crowns. I've been fascinated by tiaras and like real like royalty, like from like European royalty. The tiaras and the crowns that they use are so cool looking. Um, gosh, gosh, I just I, so I think I saw a video once where they, it was like the most expensive uh, European royalty crowns. It's ridiculous how much money goes into the, making a crown, like diamonds and emeralds and pearls. It's ridiculous, but anyways. Or here, fantasizing and drooling over crowns. <laughs> this is a Disney one. Um, I think I got this one because it didn't necessarily belong to any Disney princess. It was just a Disney princess crown, but it wasn't like, you know, princess um, like Sleeping Beauty or Snow White or Cinderella. It's, it was just like a generic Disney crown. So I think that's why I bought it because I was like, it doesn't have an actual like princess attached to it, which is why I liked it. And then we have uh, the Princess and the Pea? Or Pea and the Princess? Princess and Pea. Classic, classic Pandora charm. Of course, we have the crown. And a tiny little gold pea on this side and a tiny little gold pea on that side. She's very cute. And I can't remember where I got her. <laughs> but again, a classic. How can it not be on this bracelet? Again, we have the matching two-tone clip. We have a dancing couple, which can symbolize so many things. It can symbolize a sweet 16, it can symbolize uh, newlyweds. I just thought it was very fitting, like a prince and a princess, and they're dancing. So I thought it was very uh, appropriate to put on this bracelet. We come to a castle, which again has a two-tone crown at the bottom. Right, and when does, where does royalty usually live? They live in castles, so that's why we stuck this one on there. We have the classic carriage, which I thought was very cute, and I was torn between this one and the Cinderella carriage, but I was like, well, the Cinderella carriage is, I think, I like the way it looks. It's very intricate and very, again, a lot of scroll work in it, which I love. 
and it has a little pen, like a little gold crown on top. But I just thought this was more fitting to it since it was more of an old school classic type of Pandora charm. So we stuck her on here. And I want to see if I can zoom in because this one has a very, very like detail where you can see an actual person, I think, in the carriage. Right there, I think, or is that a curtain? Now I can't tell. I thought this here. Shoot, can I use another thing to point at it? Oh my goodness, okay. Ugh. Hold on here, where are we? Focus. Okay. So if my eyes aren't deceiving me, right here is a curtain. And this is a person. Am I seeing that wrong? Or are they both curtains? I can't tell. Let me see the other side, see if it's more clear. Yeah, it just looks different. To me, the, yeah, see, the, those look like drapes on this side. And then on the other side, oh gosh, we have hair. That's lovely. Can't even see it, but when I'm so zoomed in, it's not coming off. It's on there. Oh, came off, sort of. There we are, sort of. I'm still caught on something. I still see a little bit there. Anyways, you can see it the outline of a silhouette of a person here, so that's kind of cool. Okay, so enough of this one. Um, like I said, this is part four. So I really think I'm going to stick to the 25 minute mark on this one. I went a little bit over time again with my second, um, what is it? Second, I forget which video I went overboard. I think the first video was way over. It was like almost 40 minutes. And then my second video, I kept under 25 minutes. And my third video, I think I went over by 35 minutes again. So this one, I'm definitely going to keep to 22 minutes or 23 or 25 minutes only because it's, it can be very long winded. <laughs> and as I showed you guys, we do have quite a lot of bracelets to go through here. So it is a lot. So yeah, I'm going to keep my timer on and we are at already at nine minutes. So I might I better hurry because so far I've only been going through one one bracelet. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, and also I just realized usually after I'm done with a bracelet, I kind of give you like a quick zoom in to show you the bracelet, like what it looks like as a whole. I think I might skip that this time just because I think I already kind of give you close ups this way. Right? So there's no reason for me to zoom out and give you like a nice close-up as I drag this by through right here, right? I don't think I, we need to do that today uh, or this time around. I usually do that every single video of when it comes to my charms, but I don't think we need to do that this time. It just takes up more time and I already showed you close-up, so. <laughs> okay, this one. In my last video, I talked about how I have a little bit of confusion when it comes to I want to make a, a me bracelet, like all about me and what I like and what I'm about. And then I have a, I want to do like a hubby and a me bracelet. And then I want to do, this is like a travel bracelet, like a hubby and me travel bracelet. So uh, I think I'm getting a little redundant with my ideas and I don't know how to fix it. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to show what I got now. And then I, can, I mean, eventually, like I said, I can always sit down and like sit down and like figure out how I want to organize all of my stuff. But again, I'm just digressing and talking too much. So let me just get into the charms. <laughs> but I want to let you know, this is what I consider a travel bracelet when it comes to the our adventures, my adventures with my husband and myself. And these do have stories. They do have some stories. So I will <laughs> try to get to them. All right. So the poker... Well, the deck of cards uh, charm, it's not, it wasn't a very popular charm, I have to say, when it came out. I thought people were like, ugh, why did Pandora come up with this? You know what? I'm kind of happy they did. Because I have a lot of crazy memories of um, <laughs> this charm. Well, not this charm, but like gambling, per se. So my husband is the one who taught me how to play poker. Um, my grandma taught me how to play blackjack. So it kind of, it runs in my family, kind of. Um... I have really good memories of my husband playing blackjack during trips we've taken with friends, trips to Reno that him and I have taken. Um, I usually hold his chips while he's playing because he will just keep on, you know, betting and I'm just like, no, no, no. So I gotta 
keep them honest, you know, keep them like <laughs> at a win and not like break even or a lot. So I usually pocket all the charms. But this is me. I love to watch him play blackjack. So it's just part of that. <laughs> the trolley is just the fact that he is, even though he's from Texas, his family's um, based in San Francisco. And a couple of years ago, about six years ago, I think I took my first trolley ride finally, even though I've been like, you know, not local to San Francisco, but we're like in the vicinity and I've never been on the trolley. So that was kind of fun to do that finally. The little car, which I love. I love this little car. It's so cute. It's so well made. It has a little like cute zirconia with the headlights and the back has like the red, uh, is it the brake lights? Yeah, the brake, brake, red brake lights. I forget if they're real garnets. I can't remember. It looks like they are, but I could be wrong. It could just be cute because they're coins, like always. Um, but this, we used to have a Scion XB car. It was uh, our very first car we bought brand new uh, years and years ago. And we just recently gave it up to upgrade to another car, and I miss it. We call it a toaster on our, our toaster on wheels because it was so, like, squarish. But it... It was a good car. It never left us hanging. It always took us from point A to point B. It was one of the best cars we've ever had. Um, so we, you know, this is a representation of that car. And what I mean by that too is uh, plenty of road trips that we've taken. Plenty of road trips. I drove this car into the ground with one of the jobs I used to have as a photographer. And then he drove it into the ground with his job. And every time, cause he traveled a lot for his job, which I mentioned before. And I would sometimes, when I was unemployed, I'd go with him. i tag along because his work paid for gas. They paid for mileage and they paid for hotel stays. So I just kind of tagged along and we had really good times together driving up to Oregon and Washington and Nevada and, oh my gosh, where else? Southern California. We've been everywhere in this car, so good memories with this one. So I, got, I thought this was very uh, appropriate to represent that time in our lives. For that um that you know the charm for that time of our lives next we come to uh, a cruise ship and again i couldn't wait to get this ship as, or this charm as soon as we uh, went on our first cruise two years ago it was scary and fun and just a lot of fun overall um i kind of think if i i wonder if i would do that again go on another cruise i think i would but now that i know i, I do get a little bit seasick and it's insane to just look over the railing and just see nothing but ocean. It's, it's kind of humbling. It's very scary, but I, it's exciting at the same time. So hopefully one day we can do that again. But this was very uh, meaningful because of that. Uh, the passport. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to keep this here. It's kind of a redundant charm. It's just, again, symbolizes that we like to travel. But do I really need a passport to show that? I don't know. <laughs> this might get replaced eventually. I don't know. Uh, next we come to the exclusive I love to travel charm. I'm really 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 happy I got to have this uh, get this charm I bought it off of a duty-free website that no longer carries it. So very lucky. I got it um, Very fitting because I do love to travel who doesn't like to travel and in the back of it. It has I think the continents. Yeah Most of the continents it's, doesn't have Antarctica obviously because no one wants to go there <laughs> So yes, um, and what else? The plane. The plane again represents the fact that I used to travel a lot. Uh, there was a point in our lives where I would literally drop them off. Um, s Monday morning, I'd go drop them off at the uh, what, what the, what's called the airport every Monday, and I pick him up Wednesday or Thursdays, and then he'd spend the weekend Friday, Saturday, Sunday with me, and then he'd go back out again travel. It was ridiculous, um, but we survived it, so it was nice. So memories because of that, memories, uh, just, you know, or where you go, if you're going to go to Hawaii, you're ever, you have to go on an airplane, so that's why that's is there. Um, this right here is like a cocktail charm. I have to call it a cocktail charm, but it's called Live in the Sunshine. So I know that this is more of like a tropical, oh, you gotta have two minutes left and I am still talking. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm going to get done again. Okay. I'm not wondering if this could be a part six. Where there, there might actually be a part six, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just rearranging myself here so I get more comfortable. Part six. Okay, that might happen. <laughs> All right, no big deal. <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? 
Back to this one. This is more of a tropical cocktail uh, charm. I get that. That's like a little pineapple, sunglasses, and a little like, it's a Cosmo. I don't know. But this kind of does represent, uh, I get not drinking per se, but well, yeah, it kind of does. The many times we've had a good time, we've got a little bit tipsy. Uh, I remember getting some shots on the cruise. Every time we go to on like on vacation, we like to, you know, get a little drink drinks on. Um, not to the point where we get stupid drunk, but you know, we get a little happy. So good times, <laughs> good memories in re relation to this. I could tell you guys stories about, oh, uh, so many stories, so many stories in relation to this and kind of this charm too in relation to the drinking, but um, maybe I'll tell you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Um, the poker chip. Or poker chip? Is that what they're called? It's just chips, right? Like little Las Vegas. It's, it was a Las Vegas exclusive. I don't know if it's still available. What did it say on here? High Roller Casino Las Vegas have had it. <laughs> sure. Okay. So this represents our, our honeymoon. We went to Reno. Was it Reno or Las Vegas? No, I can't remember. I think it was Reno. We went to Reno. Uh, at a, I think we took two weeks off for vacation. The first week we took it in Reno. And the next week we went to Monterey and Half Moon Bay. Um, again, I told you guys about with this chip. How I mean, with the term, I kind of keep his chips hidden. So that he doesn't just... Oh, here we go. 22 minutes. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. Oh, I might go uh, over after all since I've only gone then do two... Braces because I talk way too much. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, again, I keep his chips hidden from him so he doesn't like, you know, end up losing money. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, our first anniversary, our wedding anniversary, we went to Las Vegas. Um, like I said, Rena was our part of our honeymoon, and I could tell you guys a story relating to the roulette wheel. And again, getting a little bit tipsy, and the roulette wheel. I may have told this story already in past videos, so. Maybe I just will skip it just because I know I'll be redundant. But it's very good memories for me. Um, so this means this is just a placeholder for the you and me. Two hearts joined together. Me and hubby. I like this trunk. It's really solid. It's, it's a chunk of silver. So I really like this. Look how big that is. So I really like that. Uh, Washington, D.C. represents our vacation to D.C. He was very excited to go because um, it was his first non-work vacation that we took. Um, most of the vacations we took were to Hawaii were um, for his work. So work paid for it to get us there. And then we took a couple days off in order to actually enjoy Hawaii. Because while he was at work, I was at the beach hanging out. So he wasn't really enjoying himself, but I was. <laughs> so I think we uh, his work only needed us there to be like three or four days. And then we would take another three or four days um, that we would pay for in order to actually enjoy the beautiful state of Hawaii. So... Uh, Washington DC was our first vacation that wasn't paid by work it was like on our you know on our volition we got there ourselves with our money you know it wasn't a working week vacation it was just an actual vacation so we had a lot of fun going through museums and just seeing the sites and the monuments and taking the tours it was lots lots of fun I have a bunch of pictures from that uh, this is uh, to represent our many snorkeling um, portions of vacation that we took. One of my favorite vacations is Hawaii. I know I keep talking about Hawaii, but because I loved it. I had a lot of fun in Hawaii. Everything we did was like so much fun, amazing. Um, we loved to go snorkeling. I was, I had never gone snorkeling until I met my husband. And I think it was our, s shoot, seven year anniversary or eight or nine. It could have been nine. It was our nine year anniversary. Went to Hawaii for the first time and I snorkeled for the first time. And it was so much fun. I had, I loved it. I had so much fun. Um, and I do have another story behind this, which I will tell very briefly. Um, you know, we're busy, you know, s swimming and looking at all the wildlife and the fish. And next, you know, I look around, I don't see my husband anywhere. And I'm like, what happened? Right? Where did he go? <laughs> and then, next thing I know, I see him in front of me. And I'm like, I thought you were behind me. And only to find out that he saw in an eel right underneath me. And decided to just like leave me to my fate and like swim around me to get in front of me 
to tell me that there was an eel underneath me. And I was like, why didn't you tell me? And he goes, I don't want you to get scared and then therefore scare the eel and have the eel attack you. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> you go tell yourself that. <laughs> so he left me to die. <laughs> uh, that's what I always tell him. So that's what that represents. Um, the vino uh, charm. I never thought I'd get. Because I thought it was pretty boring. I was like, well, let's just put your grapes and like wine. And I'm not like a huge wine person. Until I went wine tasting for the first time a couple of years ago. Again, I know I live in Sacramento. Never been to Napa. <laughs> you know, never been to Napa. And if we did go to Napa, it wasn't to do wine tasting. Well, we finally went. I think we went by ourselves. Yes. And then we went, I think, two more times. <laughs> yeah, I think we went for the first time by ourselves. And we took a tour of this, like, castle. In the, you know, in wine country, it was so, so much fun. And the wine tasting was amazing. We ended up buying a couple bottles. And then we went back two more times with friends on different occasions. So we went back two more times with different friends. So, again, a lot of fun. Represents the fact that we went there. And it was, it was a lot of fun. So that's why we have this. The sun uh, represents the mother of all sunburns that we got on uh, our first trip to Hawaii. Again, it was snorkeling. Didn't bother to put any sunblock because I didn't think I needed it. Oh my gosh, was I wrong? Ouch, it was painful, so painful. I've never been sunburned in my life and this was the very first time I got sunburned and oh my gosh, did it hurt. It was so gross too, of the flakiness, it was nasty. Anyways, getting back to the bracelet. <laughs> um. This, I know it's a boat. I know it's like a wind sail boat. I don't know exactly what kind of boat this is, but it represents our trip to um, Mazatlan, and that was um, because of the cruise. We st It was a cruise that took out of oh, San Diego. No, was it LA, I think? I think it was LA. And it would head down to Baja, California, and what was it? It was Baja... Mazatlan and then Puerto Vallarta yes and then it came back up up to um, LA so in Baja we didn't do much because we were only there for a couple of hours but we did get it on our water taxi and it took a tour around those rock formations and I was sick guys I got a cold of course I had to follow you know had a cold the day before we took off we depart or you know we set sail or whatever you shove off or whatever you guys do embark or disembark whatever i don't know what that term is <laughs> the day before i was thinking oh it got me a text the day before i was thinking you know i may not be allowed to go get on board because i'm sick and they have this thing where if you're sick you can't get on um that's more for like intestinal issues i guess so when i told them that i had like the sniffles they're like you're fine get on board i'm like okay so um i was so sick but even though I was so sick, I still had a really good time. <laughs> so I got on a water taxi and for getting sick on a cruise ship, I did not get sick, like seasickness, like motion sickness. I didn't get sick on the water taxi. I just floated around, enjoyed life. It was so fun. Got to see the formations, came back, hang out, hung out on the beach for a little bit, had some tacos, and then went back to the ship. So this is the only um, charm I could think of that can like, commemorate that. You know what I'm saying? So this is why that's here. We have the sea turtle. Uh, we took a submarine ride in Hawaii, which now that I think about it, I can't believe I did that because I'm so scared of those things, but I did it. Um, and it's not like Pandora has a submarine charm. So the only thing I could use to commemorate that trip or that activity is the fact that we saw a sea turtle floating by. So that's why I got that here. The sombrero uh, represents Puerto Vallarta because um, it's in the state of Jalisco, which is uh, the tequila capital of the world. That's where they make all the tequila. And that's where the charros come from and the mar mariachi. So that's this is perfect for that. Um, so yeah, I think that it's a perfect charm to represent um, the tequila. We did tequila tasting and we saw a, a mariachi and a folkloric ballet show which is a traditional Mexican dancing. This is perfect for that because that's what it was. <laughs> the pineapple. Um, the pineapple, we went to Maui and this represents, it's more of an inside joke, honestly. It's not really like a huge lot of meaning, but it is an inside joke <laughs> that I, I could tell you guys about, but it wouldn't make you laugh because it, it, you have to be in the moment and you have to be with the people there. So 
That's why we got the pineapple. That's why I got the pineapple because of that inside joke. Um, we took vacation in Maui. We went with a whole bunch of friends. Again, inside joke, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't be funny to you guys, but I, I laugh. I crack up every time I think about it. Um, and this charm signifies the fact that I literally think every single ho sunset in Hawaii is beautiful. It says, all I need is a little bit of paradise. Now what, what would I give to have that right now? Be sitting on a beach somewhere and just soaking up the, like the sun and the ocean, just hanging out, not having a care in the world. Um, the colors, the orange and the pink, I just think it's very perfect for a sunrise, a sunset, I'm sorry. Because they really are. Every single, like, Hawaii, we're really on a cruise <laughs> sunset. They're all spectacular. So that's what this represents for me. And the seashell. This is an actual, another Disney charm. This is Ariel's shell, I think. And this is on here to commemorate our visit to... Mazatlan, because again, Mazatlan, we didn't do anything hugely memorable other than we spent some hours at a resort. It was one of those activities that you can like buy, and we just sipped margaritas. And I went seashell collecting, which I haven't done since I was a little girl. So, picking seashells on the seashore <laughs> again, sick as a dog, but. You know, enjoy myself because it was my husband's birthday and I still had a really good time. Even though I was so sick, I had a really good time. So, um, picking seashells on the seashore. So that's what this bear is all about. And I am ashamed to say that it's been past 22 minutes, probably going half an hour now. And I barely made a dent when it comes to all of this stuff. So I am a little bit embarrassed because I really thought that it'd be... You know, one more part after this, and I'm done. I only went through two two bracelets, and that's it. It's that sad. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me just go through one more to show you guys. Um, because I get embarrassed that I talk too much, and I hardly made a dent through all of this stuff. So now I'm out there thinking I'm thinking they might be a part six, which I'm really hoping there won't be. <laughs> this is a mini set. There's no meaning, other than the fact that I love stars, and you guys, I'm sure know that by now. But it's just something that this doesn't really go. I know that I need to buy the extra clip to match this. I'm not usually this matchy matchy. I mean, I am matchy, but not. I'm balanced and symmetrical. But this is way matchy matchy, and I don't. I don't mind it. Nothing wrong with being matchy matchy sometimes, you know. <clears throat> um, I really liked this charm when I first came out, but I didn't get to it until I got retired and I had to go hunting for them at outlets, and I finally got two of them. I think this was a Christmas present, and I've had these spacers for a while. And I think I bought these. In my, this was a gift, actually. Christmas gift from a long, long time ago, and I bought this one myself, I think. <laughs> it's hard to remember now. <coughs> so, yeah. Just a little mini set. Not really have meaningful charms, just the fact that I love celestial things, which I already talked about in my last video, I think. And that's it. And I am... Again, apologizing to you guys. I am really sorry. I thought I was it was going to be able to go through more things without um, doing a part six. But if at 20 minutes, 22, 25, 30 minutes, I'm only talking about three bracelets, well, then I have a problem. <laughs> I have way too many bracelets and I talk too much. So, yikes. Um, I'm thinking... What am I thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking there might be a part six, so yeah, because I was only able to go through three bracelets and I still have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. But some of them are combined mini sets, so that's not too bad. Alright. Okay, well that's that's that. <laughs> Again, apologies for only featuring three bracelets. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should just go keep going. <laughs> uh, it's too late. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, it just means that the next time I sit down and film, I will try to do better and not talk so much. But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys have had some fun at least. Um, 
finding out what some of these meanings behind these charms mean. But at least I, I hope you guys have had some fun, um, you know, listening to what some of these charms mean to me. I hope I was able to make you laugh. <laughs> Uh, and again, I can tell you a story about this one right here. This charm, these two charms combined. Um, it's funny. Like, if you ask me under the comments, I'll let you know. It's it's a it's a funny story. It cracks me up even to stay thinking about it. But uh, I'm gonna call it a day for now. So this is part four. Unfortunately, there will be a part five and even possibly a part six. Um, so I'm not boring you guys <laughs> to death. <laughs> So once again, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself, and I will see you in part five. Right? This is part four, I said, right? <laughs> I'm losing count. I'll see you guys in part five. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.